Greetings, people of Earth! My name is Rob Wheeland. I am an author, game designer, and professional nerd. And tonight, I am the host of Theater of the Mind Players, your friendly neighborhood actual play show. This is the beginning of the end of our run on uh, Fallout from Modiphius. Uh, we are uh, playing the 2D20 uh, edition of the game. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go around the table, uh, introduce ourselves, introduce our character, um, and introduce, uh, or rather talk about uh, not just our most memorable moment from last session, but also the advance that um, you uh, gave to your character. Because normally we do our advances at the end of the night, um, but last time we uh, taped the show, we ran pretty late. Uh, so everybody was kind of sleepy, and we decided to do those advancements uh, before we started taping tonight. So uh, I'll begin. Uh, my name is Rob Wheeland. Uh, he, him. I'm an author, game designer, professional nerd. Uh, I am uh, the game master uh, for the, the, the show here. Um, uh, and so I don't have any particular advancements uh, th to make, um, but I also... Uh, we'll at least remind folks that last session was uh, uh, the session Everyone Comes to Vault Skis, uh, where, where uh, I basically wanted to do uh, what's commonly called a bottle episode, where uh, it was focused on one particular location. Uh, in this case, the bar that um, Tawny's character owns. Uh, and it was a, a sports ball night. Um, uh, there was a rivalry between uh, uh, Tony's character and Tony's character over who would sell the most foam fingers. There was some intrigue with a defecting um, uh, 
chemist from uh, the, the from shots uh, from uh, Shotzi's brewery. Um, oh, and I, and I believe uh, Ethan blew something up. Yeah. Also, there was a creepy nun. Okay. Well, we'll 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 get into we'll that. Have none of that. No. Oh. Uh, uh, I'll just well, Chicago. So, oh. all right, all right, Sarah, you just nominated yourself. You get to go. Normally, we we kind of go around the circle, <laughs> but this time we're going to start with uh, the lovely and talented uh, Sarah Babe. <laughs> Hi, I am Sarah Babe. Uh, she, them, or they, they, them, the. Hmm. <laughs> Words are hard. Uh, my character name is Calamity Wayne and her dog, Charlie Boy, who is the bestest dog. Uh, Calamity is a mercenary who can one-shot God. And Charlie is her dog that can one- One mom- mon chomp dog. God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a term. Happy Friday. Yeah. Okay, um... Uh, Favorite moment from last session was honestly like the foam finger stuff because that was just hilarious. I loved it. And my perks for Calamity that I did, um, yeah, I maxed out small guns. Nice. <laughs> and then I took, well, yeah, I maxed out small guns. And then I took the perk uh, skilled, which allows you to add one rank to two skills or two ranks to one skill. So I did that with sneak. Nice. <laughs> So now I have a really good sneak. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, Perfect so let's move. start over. Okay. From the from the top hat. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm Tawny B. Thompson. She hers, and I am playing Rainer Shine, the um, proprietor of Vault Skis, and um, I bumped up my unarmed skill, and then took the trait slash perk of Dodger. So hopefully, um, I don't get hit in the right leg again and die again almost <laughs> is that your 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 favorite memory from last session or um, the previous session or the previous session <laughs> yeah i mean at this point it's becoming like i would say it's funny but it's not i'm pissed i would say i would say it's here now just use me as a shield <laughs> okay i would say a running gag but really it's more yeah. like a limping uh -huh. gag <laughs> <laughs> It is funny that it's always the dice that chooses location. Yeah, it's, and it's always the right leg. Yeah, yeah. it's only like three numbers. I know. Be. It's impressive. Let's move on to our next mind player. Hi, I am Ethan Eichsid Anderson. He, him, <laughs> and uh, I am playing Keith, the uh, Mr. Handy, and uh, my perk I took was uh, Grim Reaper Spirit. <laughs> which means every time I murder someone, I have a chance of adding 2 AP to the group total. Nice. Yes. That's the kind of thing I like in a robot. Yes. <laughs> Incentive to kill humanoids. Yes. Murder hobos? No. Murder, murder robot? Robots? Yes. Yeah. I cannot even with you. <laughs> uh, I just can't. And then because I used all of my explosives last time, I upped my energy weapons for my my skill. Nice. Um, and I think my favorite memory from last time was the utter silence after the first time I said Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like at some point when we get our merch shop, <coughs> we're going to have to put that in like the Fallout font. Chicago hyphen go. Yeah. Time to Chicago. Chicago. And then in the back it says go. go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for Jordan to Then hear people that are going to be like, why did your shirt say Chica? I'm going to give you a spoiler. My favorite moment from last episode. <laughs> Just from hearing about it. Um, let's move on to our next mind player. Hello, my name is Tony Cheek, he, him. I'm playing Kirk the Soda Jerk. He is the local ghoul radio DJ. Uh, my favorite moment from last episode was probably outselling Tawny. Um, <laughs> but apart from that, uh, it was probably taking an axe in the back from Tawny. Um, so that was fun. It was aiming two inches to the left. You failed! Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Didn't you, like, 
get all the animals to attack Tawny. No, that was oh, the last, last, last episode. episode. Okay, yeah. that yeah. was pretty great. Yeah, that, that was, that was, uh, that was uh, yeah. the, uh, the, the second uh, story because uh, Tony has a like animal friend perk. I do. Uh, and he kept on <laughs> using it when Tawny was in the same yeah. zone as him so Turn they would attack. And I will continue to do so. <laughs> Speaking of perks, the perk that I took was Lady Killer. Because I like to think that even though he's a ghoul, he's still smooth as hell. And he's a celebrity. Isn't That's that the, perfect. Isn't that the perk where you get, like, in the game, isn't that the thing where you get more... Yes. You do more damage to, to a the specific sex. gender. Yeah, yeah. yeah I could have yeah, chosen Black Widow or uh, Lady Killer, but I went Lady Killer. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Let's move on to our final mind player. Hi, folks. Uh, I'm Jordan Fishburne. I am playing Peanuts Beer here, uh, Super Mutant Extraordinaire. Um, my favorite moment from last episode, I think, is Ethan Chicago joke. As I already said, um, but uh, I did have my brand new perk slash trait. I chose Slayer. So when I inflict any unarmed or melee attack uh, on anybody, I can spend a luck point to inflict a critical hit and therefore injury on the location hit. Um, so uh, Jordan wasn't uh, here for our third story. Um, and I only bring up, uh, that up because, yes, she's still getting an advancement because mm -hmm. I'm not one of those people who's like, well, you know, uh, I have to penalize you for real life interfering. So you have to. I'm having you, a birthday. I think you mentioned that on the second episode, too. Oh, I, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> like th this. The GMs don't be dicks. <laughs> I mean, Though, yeah. honestly, I already maxed out, like, a lot of shit for Peanuts, uh, just because I built for maximum carnage. So, it wouldn't have hurt, but I was very appreciative to have more ways to kill people. Um, well, also, I, I think 2D20 in general is a system built for competency, uh, like, of, of mm -hmm. character, as opposed to, oh, the first few levels you're whiffing, and eventually you'll you'll, you'll, you'll be cool. Like, I think mm -hmm. there's a base level where it starts out that, like, mm -hmm. whatever your thing is, you're gonna do it. Um, all right. So, um, don't do it. as a reminder, Girl, don't do it. <laughs> um, I believe uh, Tony and Tawny both have inspirational as we their... Um, Indubitably. Uh, as their thing, so that means that the the maximum action point pool is at eight, which reminds me, if, Ethan, if you could reach the, cap. the sack of caps, yeah, sack caps, of caps. caps, 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 because I start out with one cap for each player, um, and they do actually sell Nuka Cola caps that you can use, but um, we drink enough beer in this house. <laughs> And we've been saving them for a number of years to make a tabletop, but okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> so, after the events of uh, last session, um, we open on the face of Vault Skis, the bar that uh, is at the heart of the tale. And... Um, is it a dark and stormy night? Well... I mean, it is. <laughs> the the bar is is dark, which uh, is unusual because uh, it, as the last as it ha is the last bar in Milwaukee, it mm -hmm. tends to be open no matter what is is going on. Um, and uh, what is going on is that uh, uh, Voltskis is closed because. Uh, there is a bounty that has been put on your heads because of uh, the climactic battle at the end of <clears throat> last uh, session. Rude. Um, so um, you have been hiding out uh, amongst, in the one place that uh, the, the Barley Guard and the various bounty hunters and mercenaries um, are unable to look for you. And that is... Um, unable or unwilling? Well, a little of both. Okay. Because you're hiding out in the ghoul community. Sorry, there's a fly. <laughs> there's many more. Mm -hmm. We're I'll, good. I'll start that over. Sorry. Um, because you're hiding out in the ghoul community located around Maitland Park. Um... 
So uh, Maitland Park is a a blend of various uh, historical elements in Milwaukee. Um, mm -hmm. In real life, Milwaukee, uh, Maitland Park is the location of uh, Henry Mayer um, Festival Park. Oh yeah, um, Summerfest grounds. Well, that's what happened in, in our reality. Oh, right. in, good point. Good point. Before they were the Summerfest grounds, they uh, the um, the park was actually uh, a location for uh, a nuclear missile battery. And this is in real life. They, Whoa, they, for real? Mm -hmm. History, everybody. Um, uh, they, they, uh, uh, Nike Hercules missiles, I believe, were installed there. They, they were, they were installed there as a like anti deter, like a like a like a deterrent battery. Right, right. Because um, so, uh, so. In the in this version of our, of Fallout World, Maitland Park uh, stayed what it was, but it became something of a festival area um, because every year in the ten years before the last war, um, they held something called Missile Fest. Um, that and sounds awesome. Missile Fest was basically a celebration of yay, we haven't had to use these missiles yet. Um, and they had, uh, you know, food and, and concerts and very much like the Summerfest that most of us in real Milwaukee know. And then, of course, the last war came and uh, because it was a, a missile site, it was decimated. Um, and because uh, it was hit so hard, the only people who are willing to live there are ghouls. Um and uh, so, uh, anybody. So w what? What this ultimately means is anybody who has to deal with radiation. Um, Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> has has been having to deal with radi Why radiation. Why you gotta kick me when I'm down by one leg? <laughs> for for the, the the past week or so. Oh, honey. Um, There's just less of you to irradiate now. <laughs> so, what's that bringing my max HP down? Well, I just, what I want you to do is to give me a uh, endurance and survival roll. I here. believe in you, Tawny. The rest of the ghouls and I are just like, join us. <laughs> yeah, one of those annoying yellow suits you have to change in out of your armor oh, yeah, for yeah, every yeah. 10 seconds. Yeah. So as a endurance, what four? As a refresher to uh, before Tony roll. Well, oh, what'd you get? I rolled a one. Okay, that's and good. also an eight. And a twenty. No, no and, and also an eight. Oh, okay. Under my four. So, um, uh, the way that we do rolls in two d twenty is you take a, an attribute and you take a skill, you add them together, then you roll two twenty sided dice and you want to roll either at that level or below, um, which means that if you roll a one, you get well, what is it, a it's a critical success. If you roll a twenty, that means you get a complication. That means that everybody's twenty sided dice here are, are profoundly confused. Um, Mine aren't. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because Sarah has uh, dice from Modiphius that are. Have been properly trained. It's all dice <laughs> uh, superstition, but still. Uh, so that what? Well, so just to walk through the roll here, since this is the first my one. My endurance is four, and my survival is nothing. So oh. I was trying to roll under a four, and I got a one and an eight. Okay, so that means that she gets two successes, which means that, for better or worse, you have been doing okay. Like you're definitely like feeling it. Well, you. I, I feel like the ghouls are helping you to, because, like, you know, like, as, as they realize they don't have to help everyone else. So I don't know if you're necessarily feeling it, but you're definitely in the, the boat of the sooner we can get out of here, the better I will feel. And the, like the guy in a and d party who doesn't have dark vision. <laughs> That's me. That's me. I don't. Oh, I never... Mm. Are you do gonna... I do I pretend that I have radiation sickness? I don't know if you know what that feels like. Yeah, like I don't think you know to pretend. I think I, I just don't know. 
Right. So I just like, wow, it's so weird that it doesn't affect me. Or you just don't even notice because Rainer might be doing okay. So it's like, oh yeah, well, Rainer's doing okay. So obviously, I, yeah, I would be doing yeah, okay. Well, let's let's talk about this because what I wanted to do for the the, the first act is to have uh, some kind of small scenes, basically detailing what you've been doing during your sort of hideout phase. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um. Uh, Ethan already told me what he wants to do. I don't know if anybody else has something in uh, mind. I assume while in hiding, I kept doing the radio show, but I just called it Pirate Radio. Well, did you? Did I? I think I did, because I just said that, Rob. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the sass on this one today. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> you, you, Damn, you, son. It was you just... can take that sass in. Chicago. Oh, it was oh, just oh. in there, and I had to, I had to let it out. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> that was a week worth of. Why did you have a, another? <laughs> no, 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 no. What, but what I would like for you to do mm-hmm. is to give me a stealth roll. Oh, okay. Um, to see what sort of trouble you, because because you can't take your your equipment with you. So you, I'm assuming you've had to sneak mm-hmm. out. Tape, mm-hmm. Do the show and then sneak back. Right. So there's no radio um, tower here. No, not it. So I, I got mm-hmm. nothing. Even if even if there were the background radiation, the agility would... is five. I got an agility of five, but I got a sneak of goose eggs. So okay. here we go. You can start off our last uh, last run by giving Rob a whole bunch of AP. Ooh. I got a two. Hey. Yay! Nice. That's good. That goose egg hatched. Uh, <laughs> oh, I get it. Because the zero. It, mm. Damn. But did I need more than one success? Normally, if I if I don't specify a success, you need two. Mm-hmm. Crap. Um, so in this Ooh. case, what I will say is if you can figure out what sort of uh, success at a cost. Mm-hmm. Um, so like what complication comes up from you doing the radio show? I. Th- it depends on how, how hardcore we want to go because I'm willing to... Be, I'm willing to kill all of you. I'm, so I'm can... willing to admit that they know where we are because of me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah. That's, that kind of tracks for what I was planning. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you slip the very first. Hey, uh, so this is coming from Missile Park. Pa- oh. <laughs> 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 like you're so used to just tagging yep. where you're at. Yep. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like those are FCC guidelines. You yeah. station, <laughs> like, come on. And as I'm sneaking back, I'm just like humming my own danger music. That's great. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, I think we have a. Um, because of uh, that you you've continued to do the show um there have like they haven't quite gotten to the point where where um the barley guard has raided um mm-hmm. uh maitland park yet but they're definitely like kind of on patrol like yeah, they're out there like mm-hmm. that fucking ghoul thinks we can't see him yeah yeah <laughs> i mean technically they can't they can only hear you they also probably can't tell you, you could apart. be lying to be fair <laughs> yeah. you could just be like Really, wow, never know. Wow, oh boy. So, uh, let's so who let's move on to our uh, what what others the next scene that mine is kind of related ish to that. Um, when Peanuts isn't helping Rainer because I also cannot be radiated, um, when I'm not like doing gopher stuff for Rainer to get her what she needs. Um, oh, I like that that you're like, you, maybe you're one yeah. of the people that's helping to, to yeah. take care of her. That's very sweet. Because, you know, I am sturdy. I can't get poisoned or irradiated. <laughs> so if anybody had to go grab anything for her, I can totally do that. So when I'm not gophering for her, um, I'm leaving partially uh, crushed enemies kind of around <laughs> outside of me because like yeah so if 
they want to come here, they have to kind of look at a couple people and go, can I posit that they're uh, probably missing their arms as a warning? Yeah. You were playing you mean, the, yeah. uh, You're right, your thing does I mean, play into my thing quite well. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say patrolling, but then you said that, so I was like, hey, um, I can make like real life scarecrows, I guess. <laughs> um, scare barley guards? Scare barley guards? There we go. Um, barley crows? Yeah, barley crows. I like the, I like, I like the idea that, like, instead of like heads on a pike, mm-hmm. you just have there, there. There's a there's a uh, there's a, like a telephone pole near the entrance, and you just see sleeves rustling in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually thinking that um, I might have gotten like some sort of like one of those chalk pens or like a. a um, Spray paint paint. bottle and write PP by it for Peanuts Punch. Oh. Or like a smiley face, like was on my cooler. Uh, Because I don't know if uh, Peanuts is smart enough to really understand. No, you do do, do (laughs) stick figures with the properly missing arm. (laughs) Well, they're the ones missing the arm. That was the only thing for that. (laughs) Like, I I don't necessarily want to draw what I did next to the corpse. (laughs) Oh, I see. Tagging it. Yeah. Yeah, Putting your signature on it. Yeah, so some uh, sort of tag, letting them know. Yeah. What a if peanut. you leave? I was gonna say, what if you leave like a bag of peanuts? Like, <laughs> but what if Rainer needs to eat the peanuts? You leave a single peanut. You on leave their the shells. Shoulder. The shells. Maybe the shells. The okay, shells. the shells. I'll do peanut shells. That's fine. <laughs> I just am very concerned with Rainer <laughs> in the school community where she's like yeah. being super careful because Rainer like gave me a nice job at Volsky's and now they ran away. For some reason, and I'd like to really help out. You <laughs> got security. This is, yeah. this, is the, this is this is the the oddly sweet part of the like the the barbarian awakening. Like this yeah. is where this is where that you they prove that they're not a bad guy because like they just want to hug you and kiss you and call you George. Um, so go ahead and give me a um, uh, strength athletics roll here. So, and your difficulty is going to be a one because I feel like okay because because I'm sure the brother guy like yeah let's go to the cool the, like maybe they have sent people and you've been the person to be like no no, no I'm sorry <laughs> so this, I have to get under a thirteen for my oh, strength athletics golly. oh so no nervous. I got a one and a two. Wow. Damn, son. <laughs> is, athletic, is athletics one of your <coughs> tag yeah. skills? It sure is with the rank of three. Oh, so that means that you technically got four successes. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> you did it up. Yeah. Those are some barley crows. So, barley ravens, if you yeah, will. Yeah. So I think I succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming you're going to bank those three uh, extra successes in the Sure, in yeah. The pot? Hey, I love that. <laughs> So, but that that makes complete narrative sense. You you've been able, maybe even you like. Now I like the idea that yes, that's where you've been finding Radix. <laughs> oh! <laughs> they came stocked yes! up to go to Missile Park. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you're like, oh. Like, <laughs> she said, "I hold up a piece of paper. This one." <laughs> It's just, it's just like a, graphics. Yeah. yeah, like like she just draws the like symbol. You're like, yeah, yeah the bag. Yeah. You get the bag. And I like match it, and then I put it in my little bag. I also like the idea that shelves. that the reason you're able to keep doing your show is that on the way because you go to the radio station. That's where mm-hmm. they know you are. But when you come back, you lead those poor bastards into an ambush. Yeah. <laughs> it was all planned. <laughs> It's all coming together. <laughs> then you're like, hey, thanks, thanks, Peanut. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm officially terrified of you, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at me. She has been reborn. Just don't. Don't look at me. So, Sarah, I've always been this aggressive. So- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, feel, I feel like I feel like we I feel like if you if you watch episodes of 
masks where she's playing Arate, she lets it out a little more. Oh, okay, okay, so, okay, right, right. Anyway, right, right. Okay. Um, so since, since that ties into um, your character, uh, what 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 uh, what vignette are we exploring? Sitting in here? a lead box. No, I, I have no idea, <laughs> honestly. I'm really not sure. Um, I was trying to think, like, what makes sense. Is there any way, like, I could talk to some of the ghouls because they've been around for so long and, like, figure out what the blueprints are for Shotzi's like whatever I'm assuming we're taking the fight to Shotzi oh yeah so sure so um I'm well, assuming let, he's in like the Pabst mansion or something stupid well no um <laughs> so you found you've been talking with um Ralph of Ralph and Eugenia fame um uh and he's been uh you know he's been been looking at the 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 um, the plans. Yeah? Can I just... It is... The, are the municipal buildings, like, over by City Hall and stuff like that still standing? Uh, yes. Because you can literally get the microfiche plans okay. in that building. Oh, either way. If anybody needs to heist City Hall... <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I feel. I feel like this episode should have a a, a, a like disclaimer. Ex, no, an executive producer credit from Sarah because I did consult her about <laughs> uh, some of the infrastructure that we'll be going through. Nice. Um, and I, I, I promise I won't be a stickler about details. That's okay. I was going to say this. This is also a world where there are super mutants, so I hope true. That, <laughs> yeah. And the Ninja Turtles exist now. Yep. Mm. For real, real. Not they for didn't play, already but. exist. <clears throat> No. I've also mm. feel as if we should say that we've are there's a storm going on, so our animals yeah. are antsy. Yeah. Oh. So if so you hear any dog whining, that's or Wash the... wanting cuddles cat. under the table, or the cat that keeps popping in and meowing. Yeah. Also, if our power goes out, I don't know. Or if you hear thunder. But we can cut that. <laughs> <laughs> say, if the power goes out, you won't know. <laughs> you say if the power goes out we'll and we're still recording, it. that's spooky. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and if I. Or Listen, magical. and I can't hear any of the animals. I'll cut this as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that, that, that's a good point, Sarah. Uh, so, I think uh, Ralph has been has been looking at these plans, and he 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 comes into the um, <laughs> like what sort of? I feel like maybe they they built you like a special like non ghoul accommodation in one of the like outlying fair tents. So like like what state fair thing are you are you temporarily cream puffs yo well not definitely not... like one of the cream puff trailers like the trailer where they sell the cream puffs yeah. if yeah. it was if it was missile fest obviously they would have been demoing fallout shelters there <laughs> <laughs> I mean like that's here, fair, right yeah. that's, fair. that's true like you no. see, like the portable like we could you know. bring so, the cream puff sign to the or fallout if shelter anything from Indiana Jones <laughs> you mentioned that I am not sitting in a refrigerator <laughs> I'm going to throw no 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 them. Got a so on. they so they 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 so you're in the like the atomic puff tent <laughs> Yep. Where ba they basically puffs. do the cream puffs, except they do it up to look like a mushroom cloud. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That wouldn't be hard. No. Um. <laughs> uh, awesome. And so, so we we see we see Ralph coming in. Uh, you know, like he's like, I figured it out. <laughs> okay, okay. My hair's not gonna fall out. Is that what you figured out? It's there. It's still there. No, no, no. You you look great. Are you sure? Look. All right. Okay. They're not loose yet. Okay. And it's how cool. terrifying it would have been if Tony's teeth just came out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! You should have prepped a fake tooth. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> then thrown it to Tony. Damn it. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> um, listen. Uh, I appreciate... I appreciate you flirting with me, but I'm, 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 I'm taken. Talking about your, uh, your hair falling out and everything. That's, that's, hmm. that's, that's. Yeah, I, you know, that's, uh, that's what you find sexy. I was very aware of that okay. before. So, um, here, and he, he rolls out the, the, the plans. So, this is the, 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 these are the plans for the old water park 
located downtown in the uh, in uh, the the one of the main hotels down there. It used to be called uh, Red White or Red Wet and Blue. Of course it did. <laughs> wow. Red, um... And if you but if you overlay these plans, and he, he unfolds the plans that you gave him, you see, it's obvious, right? So I can see it, but why don't you elaborate for me? Just so, a little further there, Ralph. This water, this water park mm. is, I mean, it was, well, okay, a long, long time ago, people used to have these things called water parks. And they're basically like, imagine going in a, uh, like, like being a, a, a tiny, like, mouse and being uh -huh. able to ride around inside the pipes. Why would that be any fun at all um because you that know, sounds disgusting well no 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 like would I mean, you not water... get like ratted up no the water's like clean and everything they had that much clean water that it was just like yeah you used to be able to take baths okay. you know what you remember you, you, you ever taken a bath the fuck is a bath <laughs> i have <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we know in the blood of your enemies. Okay, we get it. Anyway, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about baths. Ugh. Anyway, so if they what what I think they did was they repurposed the 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 machinery that moved the water all around the water park and turned it into some kind of refinery. So if, if if they're making, you know, whatever the, this uh, new Coca Cola, the, the new new Coca Cola, the new Coca Cola, this would be the place where they were would be making it. And yes, I, that is exactly what that looks like. You're right. Now that you um, thank you though yeah, for now that you explained it to this mouse in my pocket. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you for um, clarifying that. So, what's the best way, in your opinion, by you know, to get in? Uh, I'm trying to flatter him. Um, what am I rolling? Sorry, charisma uh, and... And speech. Speech. My charisma is eight. My speech is three. So I'm going to say difficulty is one here. Oh! I got a two. Okay. And an 18. Okay. Is your speech one of your... My speech is one of my... Um, Tag skills. And I rolled under it. Okay, so that means that you got two successes, which means... You do get one more. I'm gonna bank that shit. Okay, because you can because you can also spend it to ask additional questions about what he's talking about if you want to. I mean, my first question was, how do we get in? Okay, well, I feel like that's the most important, so I'll leave it at that. Well, I mean, normally, well, I mean, normally, if they weren't looking for it, you could probably like sneak into the building. But I mean, I'm sure they've got it because they don't really have it. Like, it's not like they have. A bunch of security around it because they don't want to draw attention to it. But because they're looking for you, uh, how do you feel about sewers? I'm gonna be honest with you, Ralph. Not great. Well, that's that's good because, um, well, I mean, the, the sewer is gonna be the easiest way to get into this building. Right. That's where the crocodiles live now, right? No, 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 no. Just, uh, 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 just Milwaukee lions. A few turtles, a rat. A few, just, <laughs> just feral ghouls and, and, uh, uh, and old spiky. Old spiky, you say? There's some raccoons, too. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the albino uh, rad scorpion that lives in the sewers. The albino rad scorpion. Yeah, no, I have heard that one around the campfire. Um, great. Well, the other thing is, is that the easiest way to get into the sewers would be to go through uh, the Memento Mori grate. But that's kind of a, a big deal with uh, our kind. Uh, say I didn't know what that was. I... Truly, I do, but um, just pretend for a moment that I didn't. Maybe you could explain it a little further. So, um, sometimes <laughs> we lose a hold of what 
keeps us together. And when we start to feel that slip, we'll ask uh, permission from... Old Spikey. <laughs> you know, we, we ask permission uh, from the Stadababa. Stadababa? <laughs> the, uh, to go through the Memento Mori grate. Um, usually there's like a little bit of a party and then you go through the gate because in theory, uh, this is kind of weird because I don't like talking about my faith to outsiders, but, um, if you've lived a good life, you return home to Vault 42. If you haven't lived a good life, you go feral. Well, Ralph, if it comforts you at all, I I would say I think you've lived a good life. Why, thanks. I appreciate that, Smoothskin. I try. Uh, let's cut to either uh, Calamity or Keitha. I am making sniper's nests. <laughs> oh, uh, like a, a defensive position. Oh yeah, I'm just scouting out all of the defensive <laughs> positions, all of the weak positions for any explosives to cause any traps, and I'm marking them. Okay. So I'm going out marking all of the weak spots, all of the sniper's nests, and um, you know Charlie's coming with me and probably taking more drugs off of the people that you've um handled yeah <laughs> handled you've yeah. disarmed that i've disarmed yeah that i've disarmed um so probably taking whatever supplies they have on them um and uh yeah okay. charlie's helping me out um give me a uh perception plus survival role could that be a sneak no, because you're not... This isn't about sneaking. This is about noticing something. The target here is two. That is a one. And you can do luck to reroll? You can do luck to reroll, or you can take a success at a cost. I will take a luck to reroll. Okay. Yeah, that's two. Okay. Um... Charlie is acting a little strange. How strange? What kind of strange? Um, he is more alert. Okay. And he is scanning the horizon. Okay. Uh, and he is um, putting on a coat. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I want to see how weird he gets. Um, <laughs> I mean, you want to get, I mean, no. Um, putting on the booties. Coming winter, I guess. <laughs> well, no. Well, like, he is taken on the, um, the, the, the anxiety of knowing that you are being watched. Okay, I immediately get to the nearest sniper hole with the best position and look. Okay, now now you can make your sneak roll. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to say that this is actually a difficulty one because as a mercenary sniper, I trust that you know how to make these very well. Right. You're extra sneaky now. Awesome. Yeah, that is a one. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah, because that, 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 yeah, that's a one. It's one success? Okay. Yes. So you... Like I, I think you 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 uh, crouch down and basically tell Charlie like you run that way I'm gonna go in the hole and then we'll you know I'll keep an eye on you as you look around because yeah you know. yeah um so 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 you hit your hidey hole it's um uh it's behind one of the, so like there's like the stage and then there's like the 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 roof part of the proscenium kind of above yes, the stage. Yes, yes. And you go and crawl up in one of those and you like I, I think you have your main weapon, but you also have like a stash of like crappy like pipe 
you know, yeah, yeah pipe yeah, guns, yeah, things yeah, like that. Yeah. Just just in, in safe. Yeah, so just in case somebody else needs to use it. There. You scut off the, the 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 scaffolding and get into your nest. Uh, put down your rifle. Uh, hit the scope, and you see. And uh, you know Charlie, uh, you know, zooming around a little bit, and then he stops. As a strange person, some might even call him a mysterious stranger, in a long white coat with a hood, um, and uh, sort of a, a big uh, scarf wrapped around his his neck and shoulders, appears. <gasps> it's Tom Baker. <laughs> no. Um. And Charlie stops, runs up to him, and the mysterious stranger kneels down and gives him some scritches. Uh, I stand up and yell, who the fuck are you? Um, he, the, the, the stranger bolts. Are you, are you going to take a shot? Yeah. <gasps> He touched my dog. Okay, take your shot. Fun boy. <laughs> just fall for. Uh, wait, what is my shooting again? That's uh, small guns and. Uh, small guns G and a G it, it says right there. It's yeah. on, it's your, next on to your gun at the bottom. Oh too. look! Yes. <laughs> that is. I rolled a six, which is is it equal to or under? Equal to or under. Yeah. So that's two success, three successes. Okay. Um, <laughs> so go oh, ahead. I'm going to kill your mysterious stranger. I'm so sorry. It will never die. Okay. When you shoot him, does yep. he automatically die? Because yeah, that'll get replaced. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Like, that's fair. Sorry, I'm. That's okay. Your thing. Um, it's our. <laughs> what? For a second, uh, I forgot you guys didn't have oh, as high. Oh, oh, what? Nothing. I didn't say anything. You did too. <laughs> I forgot they didn't have. As you did high say something with your face. The, the as I did, so I was mm -hmm. like, "What?" Yeah, no, you're overpowered. <laughs> <laughs> you said six, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> Looking at my sheet. <laughs> Sorry, I built this out for maximum. Yeah. <laughs> Ha! Just the... Yeah. Well, I rolled hit location, and it is a natural headshot. Oh! Wait. Shit! So go ahead and, and roll damage. <laughs> Luckily, the head's only, you know, for appearances. He keeps his brain in his torso. <laughs> I mean, like, I would hope people would start doing that. Oh my god, he's Krang. <laughs> I thought it was Kang. No, it's Krang. For Krang? turtles? Yeah. Oh. I'm thinking... Louise Marvel. watches a Marvel. lot you're thinking, of turtles. You're thinking Kang the Conqueror. Yeah, yeah I am. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh shit. I think you just... Boom! Headshot. Broke the plot. <laughs> uh, and the, the, the mysterious figure falls. And then after a moment, even though this headshot would have normally killed any human, he gets back up. And you see as he as he disappears, the the he's left the, the scarf is on the ground, but as he pulls himself up, where one of his eyes was, where you shot him, there is now a sparking hole as he disappears. Because I think you're like, and like, you want to shoot again, and your arms won't let you. Okay. Cut to. Keith. I have collected as many common items as I can to start crafting baseball grenades. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Now that god. I'm a demolitions expert, I can make my own grenades. So does that lower the difficulty at all or anything? Have. I have eleven junk that items. That was you can have. one of the grenades going off. <laughs> yeah, I'll need I need uncommon and 
and common. I really like uh, to think you of can Keith only like, do it if like you're a demolition him. expert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you have to have, because there, there are certain <laughs> yeah, perks like gun nut or <laughs> demolition <laughs> expert where you can basically unlock the ability to roll your own stuff. Um, okay. Do you want Would, my 11 need, junk items? Yeah, I need three common materials and two uncommon materials. Do you, I got broken car parts. And 11 un, and eleven junk items. Well, would would nine shots of a fusion cell help? Oh, I also got seven fusion gems. Oh, I also have six oh, okay. camera rounds. But yeah, so, I figured we all have enough shit that we can would gather Would you like my knuckles? Right, you don't... I, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> between the stuff that, that you have and whatever stuff that, that Keitha has uh, gathered off camera... You've got the materials, um, because this is because we don't want to spend an hour of, of uh, Ethan rolling and being like, "I open up this container, I open up this container," because we've all done that in yeah. Fallout, where yeah. it's like, "Oh yeah, you know, crap! Mm -hmm. I knew I put it in this locker. Which locker was Which it? Which one? Ah, dang it! Was it in the, was it in the uh, shopping I, I center? Or? Did I put that locker in my in my workshop? <laughs> Pull it all out. Oh, I gotta carry the stupid thing back to my work. Right. Anyway, so um, fast travel because I'm over encumbered. So, um, roll a difficulty of two for this roll, and um, if you want to use one of my banked things for an extra die, because um, I will say that for every one, grenades. every <laughs> success over two, you'll make another one. You should use some of those. AP. Use two of them. Let's use three of them. Yeah, all three of my AP extras. So that I one, got. I'm fine. Which with gives that. me two more dice. Well, because you could you could blow out the the rest and get another dice if you wanted. Well, he's using three AP. That doesn't give him three extra dice. Nope. One, no, because the first one, the first dice costs one. The second dice costs two. Oh, the third right. dice costs three. I like having a little bit in the yeah, bank. I was gonna yeah, yeah. yeah, I was going to say, th yeah. this whole, this <laughs> scene yeah. was sort of to build up a, a little yeah. bit of a yeah. pot, but I also feel like having explodey bits is also probably going to be useful. Yeah. I also said baseball grenade, because that's the only one I have stats for right now. <laughs> You're just crunching the stuff well, is into the form do you have the Do you have the, the, yeah. the chart up on your... I have the chart for making items, not the chart of weapons. Okay. Uh, let me look up something really quick. And give us another chance to... If I hit one of those grenades with my baseball bat, will they explode upon impact or after it hits wherever it lands? If we tie a string to the pin. And then as it goes away, then it goes to its... Okay. Yeah, 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 as yeah. it flies away, it'll pull the pin itself. Yeah. There we go. Or you could be like an RPG where it has oh. the the propeller that has to wind up so much from the air friction. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. So that'd it has to cool. travel so far before it blows up. So I'm actually going to switch this up. Um, because baseball grenades have a... So baseball grenades have a rarity of one, which okay. means that that would be a difficulty of one to make. Uh, what other things can you make? Uh, fray grenade. You can do Molotov cocktails. Is that it? Uh... Because I think, cause I think cap mine, because I think frag mine, because I think that that there's a, like basically you you get like a few things, and then you got to take the next level to do like more stuff. Yeah, right? I, I mean, for anything higher than baseball and frag, I would have to then take science as well. Okay, so you can make a baseball grenade and a, and a frag grenade. Yep. So frag grenades are would be difficulty two, and basically you're getting a extra damage die. Yeah, something like that. Um, I'm, I'm looking at the stats for the, okay. the things. Um, whereas baseball grenades are rarity one. So if you want to make the baseball grenades, your difficulty is actually only going to be one. Yeah. Yes. All right. Roll it. Spend those. I'm also going to burn a bunch of luck so I can get. Yeah. <laughs> Maximum effort. And so this will be explosion or explosive for what I need to roll under. Uh, yeah. I'm, is it, is it. Repair or is it explosive? I think yeah. No, no, we did this last time. Skills it's explosives. Explosive. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Look at how everybody is excited about this crafting roll. And yeah. then I'm going to use a luck to re-roll this one d twenty. Because you got three right now. I have. 
five right now. <laughs> yes! Because two of them rolled underneath my... We're going to blow up Willy Wonka's uh, factory. I don't know how I feel about Barbarian Jordan. <laughs> Nope. It's going to take me oh, a minute. Only the five remains. <laughs> only five. Well, I got luckily, a one, this is a four, the last run. <laughs> and this one was a ten. Okay. Then I'll go back to very so, proper junk. Tony, go ahead and clear out you your junk on your inventory. Because it's right uh, I'm assuming that you <laughs> contributed my, my car parts and other random yeah. stuff. From... But now you have five baseball grenades. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Good rolls. Good rolls, Ethan. So are you delivering these to uh um He can hold them. He can hold them. Got my bandolier. And we yeah. can do like uh combo attacks. Yeah. <laughs> do we do we want to install one of those got, baseball pitching machines you've here? Got, like, you got like a little like the metal ball. belt that like holds them and it turns as you use one. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, amazing. Megan, if it's a belt or if it's a bandana, because it could sit on my little <laughs> That would be dogs. so awesome. Oh. I have a bandana you can have. Yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing. It was my weird item that I'm, I got. I'm looking at the drawing of the Mr. Candy where it would actually fit. That's Wait, awesome. Wait, where did you... Oh, you have a drawing of the Mr. Candy on yours? My yeah. character sheet's different. Shut the front door! Mm -hmm. Because he's not he's a human. Because he's got a different hit location oh and everything. Oh my god, I love it. These character sheets are so nice. They are. Mm -hmm. I really like them. I wish they had a separate character sheet for the dog meat, though. <laughs> <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> so yeah, it's a little more than a hollowed out baseball filled with a, an improvised explosive mixture. They're crude, low tech, and easy to make. Yeah. Um, Sounds like my kind of gal. <laughs> Okay. Uh, um, that did, I'm sorry. That did so, um, at what point do you come together with Ralph to talk about this plan? Do you, or I think as soon as it's ready, probably. We w probably don't want Rainer to be in the danger zone. Okay. Danger zone. Um, <laughs> or even on the highway too. Yeah. Rainer. So, Rainer. What? Rainer! What? <laughs> Tiny does not get the no. reference. <laughs> oh shit! God damn it! No, she doesn't. Know. Um, it's, it's funny. Trust I assure you, it's humorous. <laughs> it is hilarious. Um, <laughs> it's an archer joke. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, you so you come to speak with. Um, Stat, uh, Statababa, who is the leader of the ghoul community, uh, because she is the oldest ghoul. She was old before she became a ghoul. Damn. Um, and she sits upon a uh, an old parade float um, in front of a massive portcullis like sewer grate uh that uh it's a storm sewer that basically runs directly into lake michigan um proud of you rob proud of you um and and uh, like ralph takes off his hat and um you know approaches um no no you you leave your hat on smooth skin Oh, yeah. Do, do. yeah, thank you. <laughs> Jeez, is this is your first time going to Stata Papa? You always take your hat off. I mean, I've been, you know, radioing. <laughs> Stata Baba. Um, I, uh, uh, Ralph Mertz, uh, do humbly beseech you to, uh, ask permission for, uh, our guests to enter the the sacred sewer. Uh, yeah. Are we all there? Oh no, you're probably there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, you're all there. <laughs> oh, we are all there. Yeah. Okay. Um, we don't have noses though. Yeah. We're. <laughs> How is Charlie taking radiation? You can't Don't kill... ask hard questions. You can't kill dog meat. It's fine. Okay, I'll just just pop my head. It's fine. Don't uh, 
It's the been... Radax lasts ten times as long because he has a smaller weight. Because it lasts in him in dog years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But Look, it's only seven times as long. Um, <laughs> rude. <laughs> um, I I know that that that, that this is a, a, a our holy place and and to to let insiders in is a, a huge favor to ask. But well, these people they just want to go home, and this is the best way for them to go home is to handle the the, the folks that uh, that have been harassing us for the, for the past week while they, they, they've, they've been here. Charlie. Charm her. Charm her, Charlie. Uh, I, I, I we believe, do I, come I, to you respectfully, uh, Miss Stadababa, and we uh, beseech you on behalf of uh, us. us to traverse Allow us to traverse through the great halls of your sacred space. Sewer. Well, we come to you too. with optic stocks in hand. <laughs> she looks and uh, Stadababa looks to you. Uh, well, yeah, what, what they said. <laughs> okay. Uh, Thanks so. for the vote of confidence. <laughs> they so, go ahead, uh, Sarah, go ahead and roll your speech to see. I mean, if I roll well enough, that should have been good enough. Yeah. <laughs> well, what, me speech? Yeah, because you were helping, uh, um. To see if you assist. <laughs> yeah. Don't fuck me up. It would have been pretty good. That <laughs> I'm gonna spend a look. It won't actually mess me up, right? It just helps if she helps. Only if she rolls a twenty. Okay, yeah. No. Oh, okay, yeah. You're I good. just You're didn't. Good. Don't worry. About it. I just didn't. It. I was not a helper. Mm -hmm. Did my yeah help? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So speech. now remember your fancy hat also gives you a reroll too. Oh, yeah. You See, can. Ralph. Uh, you. My fancy hat does it, and no, yes, yeah, just the fancy hat. Yeah, those were bartering. Correct. This is bartering our ability to go. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take a reroll on one of those dice. I think that's a good idea. The big one. Give the dice a second chance. Um, so that's one regular success and one success that's under my speech skill. So that's three successes. Three successes? Okay. Um, are you going to bank the other two? Yeah. I feel like we're gonna need those later, so nah, everything's gonna go Thank fine. That shit. Yeah. I will allow this transgression into our holy space. You We'll make sure they stay respectful, yes? Oh, of course. You got it. We're the most respectful. I heard legends that if you wear a mask that looks like you're a ghoul, they won't attack you. They who? Uh, I, it was in the legends of Fallout 3. <laughs> in the historical documents. <laughs> I mean, you can try it, <laughs> robot. <laughs> I think uh, the fact that you float might give it away. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> like, I, does he keep like 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 a ghoul face drawn? <laughs> <up his belly? laughs> I'm a ghoul. <laughs> Got a ghoul. <laughs> Goddamn. He's got I... little pincers that... <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate your graciousness. I ask one favor. No, oh boy. If you should encounter...
those poor souls who did not return to the heavenly vault. Make sure that you put them out of their misery. Done and done! Yes! What? You shouldn't be that enthusiastic about oh, a young lady. Sorry. I just, I'm good at it, and I'm I'm really excited about the Goose chance. Drop. Goose Goose drop. Drop. Some of those used to be my friends. Which is why we would make it painless. That's fair. And swift. Like the bullet coming out of my gun. I want to make it very clear that Peanuts got very confused once they started to say painless and fast. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to make sure that's for those folks at home. <laughs> painless? Less pain? Le Why? <laughs> like... Why would you yes. <laughs> she, poor poor Peter is just like a like a like a dog looking at a chalkboard of calculus right now. <laughs> 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 Me and Charlie just <laughs> uh, she grabs a a a, mm. a lever by the um the the parade the like she's on like a like a grand marshal like parade float, mm -hmm. and she awesome. pulls the lever as the sewer grate. <laughs> kind of what they do for the combined sewer outlet. I'm gonna not go with the sewer <laughs> nerd now. <laughs> um, Ralph says, uh, th "Thank, thank you, Stada Baba. Uh, we'll, we'll." We'll be sure to uh, to, to treat uh, those unfortunate souls with re with your request. You are not going, Ralph of Mertz. You are staying here. All right. Uh, <laughs> well, well, good luck, everybody. I give uh, Ralph send a big old pat on the back <laughs> and just. Unsheath my bat and just jump. <laughs> Send our love to Eugenia. Well, no, because it's it's a big tunnel. You just oh. walk through it. You don't have to go down. Peanuts mm -hmm. still jumps. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll still jump. Okay. <laughs> I jump as far as I can. <laughs> and then, like, like, like two feet later, <laughs> yeah. sploosh. I mean, I assume you're like talking tunnel. As yes. To yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. I thought it was a drop, but um, <laughs> that works. And as as the uh, wanderers head into the sacred sewers, that is where we'll take our first break. Uh, so join us uh, for the next hour, where we see just uh, how the how often Sarah interrupts me with sewer facts um, for our uh, uh, next act of our final tale. Of season one, the last bar in Milwaukee. Don't we'll worry. See then. I'll go over close in close space training. Congratulations, fellow human. You've reached the end of an exciting episode of Theater of the Mind Players. If you enjoyed our story, please like the video. If you want more games, subscribe to our channel. Attack the bell for notifications on new posts. If you liked the episode, please tell us what you enjoyed the most in the comments. If you loved the episode, consider joining our Patreon. You'll get access to special shows, session zeros, and help us determine what we play on the show. We love our friends of Pat Rayon, and we hope to see you there. <laughs>